much better. All right, yeah. So my I I just finished a track that I um, created. It actually lasts like around a minute or so, and um, I want to export it. The reason why I want to do this because on Logic Pro there's many ways to export audio. And for instance, if I want to export audio, I can do regions so to library for regions as audio file, MIDI files, audio files, one track, all tracks, MIDI track, AAA files for um, video, and also projects to Final Cut. And what I want to do is actually export this track as a WAV file. And also when you go here on Bounce, you can find these options like region, in place, track in place, all replace, all track in project or section, or you can go share and then do this. But there's so many options. I probably can do um, specifically a video on all these different options. But this time, so we can do this quick, we're going to bounce the song and we're going to bounce as a project. We're going to click on projects or section, or you can use the shortcut command B as a boy. Once we're here, we have many options, PCN, MP3, and 4A, AAC, and burn to CD. So what we got to do is select PCN, and on PCN you have multiple choices, AIFF, WAV files, or CAF. Also, you can change the resolution from AB to 32 bits float, and the sample rate all the way to 192,000. In this case, I'm just going to keep it at 16 bit and 44 on 100. Also, make sure it's in Eaton Lift. Otherwise, if you select split, it's going to separate the stereo track into two audios, left and right. Dittering, I'm okay. Uh, and as you can tell, I have selected the in and out point, which is a start at 111 and ends at 33.1, which is, as you can see right here, and one and 33. So once I'm ready, I can also export MP3 files. And you can just go all the way to 32 to make sure it sounds way better. And then as, once we're ready, all we got to do is just hit OK. And oh, one more thing, one more thing. And one more thing is this right here, normalize on real time or offline. I just do offline so you will, you will keep quickly. If you do real time, it actually is going gonna, it's gonna to last the length of the song. In this case, one minute. If you do offline, it's going to be pretty quick. So I'm going to click OK and select the place where I want to save. In this case, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop so we can check it out real quick. And then hit bounce. And it only took a few seconds to do. So we're going to go into desktop. We're going to check it out. It's right here. So it create an MP3 and a WAV file as we want it. So it's going to play real quick by just pressing the space bar. Select the track, and it's here. Very cool. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.